Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to talk about illustrating things in Photoshop and I'll be the first to admit that I am not an artist and I'm not very good at drawing but one thing I can do is trace and um, you can trace too. So what we're going to do is um, a common trend at least I've seen on Instagram is there's a lot of dudes out there that are offering um, like renders of your car things like that and they look really cool um, a guy actually just did one of mine and I posted it up on my Instagram and some people were asking how it's done now I didn't do that um, there's a very talented artist that actually um, made that for me um, but if you wanted to try your hand at it, I'm going to show you how at least I would go about it. And since everyone seems to like the Photoshop tutorials and like sticking mainly to Photoshop, uh, because most of the people that follow this channel are photographers, we're going to we're going to do this in Photoshop. I know a lot of people would do this in some kind of drawing program or maybe Adobe Illustrator. I'm actually much more um, comfortable doing things like this in, in Adobe Illustrator, but um, I'll kind of walk you through how I would tackle this in Photoshop and kind of show you some of the tips and tricks and things that I would do to make this happen. So the first thing, since we're going to be tracing, is you want to get a good um, kind of base image. So I just I decided to use this one. I thought it would be cool. And kind of where I started, um, and I guess let me be upfront with you, this isn't going to be a beginning to end tutorial of you know start to finish on this project it's just it's way too time intensive to do that so I'm going to show you some techniques on how I do things and hopefully this is something that you'll enjoy and maybe want to tackle on your own <clears throat> so the first thing that I would recommend doing is kind of starting with a color base and one thing that you're really going to want to get familiar with is the pen tool when you go to tackle a project like this. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to get the body of the car um, a solid color. And that's what I did here. So let me turn up the opacity on this. So you can see essentially what I did is I took the pen tool and I went all the way around the car and drew the shape of the car and then filled that. So just as a refresher, here's kind of what that looks like, is you'll grab your pen tool right here, you will click and then drag and pull all the way around the shape. And so once you get a shape, you will close that, you'll right click and click make selection now it's going to ask you if you want to feather it. You can feather it or not. We're going to just go to zero on this one. Click OK. And now you have your selection. You want to make a new layer. And then you're going to fill that with a color. So you can fill it with whatever color. Um, the other good thing about having an, um, an image to trace from is you can go to your color sampling tool, the eyedrop tool, and just click. And then that gives you your color so you know you have the right color right everything and then you can just fill that so that's that's really there's two things that you need to know for this you need to know how to use the pen tool and you need to understand how layers work because everything's going to build upon that base layer so we're going to keep our background locked we're going to put that color base above it and now that we have that kind of drawn and colored in we're gonna lower that opacity all the way down or you can turn it off or whatever you want to do but then we're gonna build things above that layer so if you look at what I did with the door here um, let me turn this all the way up so you can see so you can see we drew in the outline of the door I drew in the shadow I have the little vent here and then I have a highlight and so all of those are on their own individual layers so if I want to turn off the 
the door or if I want to make that less, if I want to bring back the opacity of that some, I have the option to do that. Um, then we can go click in through like the headlight, like I just started on the headlight, so um, it still needs some refinement. Side window, the grill, starting to work on the lower fascia, and then the mirror and then the front windshield. So you can see how quickly it starts to come together. And basically what we're doing is we're just drawing in highlights and shadows. So we have the medium color of the car here, and then we have a shadow color, and we have a highlight color. And everything is really just built off of those two. So you can see here on the grill, it's, if we click on the grill here, and we get rid of this, you can see we really have the solid black shape with the center cut out and then from there you can see we added some highlights here and here and around here just to carve out some of those shapes and then we added some additional highlights just to show um, the, the gradient from light to dark and that's kind of all there is to it so let's actually jump in and kind of work on some of this stuff really fast. Actually, let's turn this back on. Let's make this color down here a little bit lighter. That way we can see what's going on. And maybe we jump into um, this hood area and we can start working on some of that. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make a new layer and I'm going to call this hood. And I think let's just jump in here and we're gonna make this shape here. So we're gonna go ahead and get our pen tool. We're gonna go in and we're gonna mimic this shape right around here. So now that we have that shape closed, we're gonna click Make Selection. We're not gonna worry about feathering it. And we're gonna hit D. That's gonna make our color black. And then we're gonna hit Alter Option and Delete. And then it's gonna fill that color. So now if you can see, let's raise the color of the base up. And so you can see we put in that little, the little scoop there the little cutout for the scoop. So let's bring that back down. And then if we go back in here, let's make this shadow. So we're gonna make another layer. We're gonna grab our pen tool. and we'll just click and drag around this shadow. If you don't like the point, you can Command-Z or Shift-Command-Z to undo and undo the previous one. And again, we'll make a selection. Um, so now what you can do here is, I think actually this color is gonna be the same color of our base color. So what you can do on your shadows is you can actually fill that with black and then you can turn up your your base layer. Let's unselect that. And then what you can do is you can go into your opacity when you're on the right layer. You can go into your opacity and you can pull that back so it looks like a shadow. All right, so We'll just, to keep our layers tidy, we'll just call this hood side shadow. 
and then let's bring that base layer back down again and I think since all these are relatively the same color we can probably do these on the same layer so let's take our pen tool again let's come in here And we'll just keep tracing right around this shadow line. So again, we'll just make that selection. We'll fill that with that black. And then let's go in here and kind of pull this guy down right along here. Come back up, make that super sharp. Okay, so now we got our shadows in there. Let's go, actually here, let's do this one while we're here too. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Um, hot tip, you'll see I just command Z'd a bunch. I was actually on the wrong layer. So you want to make sure you're on the correct layer. So no big deal. Let's just go draw this thing again. So we'll just come around here, pick that up, make the selection. We'll just delete that again. And now let's go to our color base layer because I think we're going to have some black lines on there. We do. Um, let's just grab this. So you already have that selection made. What you can do is if you mess up on something, you can hit um, Command and click on it. That's going to reload the selection. You come over to your eyedrop tool again, grab that color, Alt Delete, refill it, bingo bango. All right, so we have our highlight, we have our, I mean, we have our shadow. Um, let's go in and put that one highlight to, or that shadow to um, kind of cut out the hood from the fender. And then we'll start working on some highlights. So I think this one might be a little bit lighter. So let's make a new layer just in case. And we'll grab our pen tool again and we're going to come down here and we're just going to follow this line straight down Again, make that selection. The, we'll fill that with black. And then we'll just pull that opacity down again. Just so it kind of makes sense. All right, so we got a bunch of those shadows put in. But all along the ridges here, you can see we have these really fine um, almost white highlights. So let's go in and start putting some of those in. And that's what's gonna really help call out some of these body lines. So let's make a new layer and we'll call this 
could highlight. And so we're going to do the same thing here, but instead of black, we're going to switch and make that X or hit X and we're going to switch and make that white. So we'll just draw right along here. And I'm just clicking and pulling until I get about the shape that I want. And then when you get to here, if you click this, it's going to make that come out. We don't want that. We want a sharp edge. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Alt or Option and click on that. And that's going to allow us to come back at a sharp point right above that again. And we'll just follow this line closely right around to where we started. And now we're closed and we'll go ahead and make that selection and we're going to fill that with white. All right, and let's do that here as well. So we have this little reversed curve line here. And it kind of dead ends here. And then we'll just come back over it. And then in here we have kind of the same thing. See, you can see how I just went to pull that and it's trying to throw that curve in there. We want it to be a little bit tighter. So we're gonna hit that Option or Alt key. And maybe we'll pull this over just a little bit. And then we'll just bring that right back onto itself. All right, so let's go back to our base color. Let's turn that all the way up and let's see what we did. And so those colors look kind of crazy because they are so white. But if we bring that opacity down, you can see what we did. So we put some definition back in there. We got the side of the, the side scoop of the hood kind of pulled up. We got the fender line pulled out. We got that little highlight pulled out. And you can see just how quickly the um, the shape really comes together once you start putting in those highlights and shadows. So now just to keep things kind of clean, we're going to go back and we'll work on this some more, but let's jump around and show some techniques maybe back here on the back side of the car just to um, give some variety to what we're working on. So just to keep things neat and clean, what you want to do is select all of those, click on the group layer, and then just double click that and name that hood. So everything has its own um, group and you can go in and you can change the opacity on the individual layers and all of that kind of stuff. So let's go back here. Um, let's work on this little highlight area here. So we're gonna make a new, and we'll call this fender, maybe rear fender. And let's go in and grab our pen tool again. We're gonna start with this little highlight right here. And we're gonna select that. And you can see how this, let's try something here. So we know there's kind of a natural selection okay so let's grab our brush tool X we will 
we'll grab our let's grab our brush tool so we'll click on the brush or hit B and then let's come up here to our flow and let's bring this down our brush is all the way soft which is how we want it and then let's turn on this color base underneath and so we just want to give this a little bit of dusting to make it look like there's a shadow there so I think what we're gonna do is rather than try to um, do this with a single a single object like we did in here I think we're just gonna go and paint and since we have that that selection still active we're going to be able to paint outside of that and because our brush is soft and it's relatively big what we're going to be able to do is just paint out here and we're going to be able to put in that highlight so once i hit command d to deselect that actually again make sure you're on the right layer so again let's take that brush and just brush outside of that selection and it doesn't look like I'm doing anything right now but as soon as I hit command D to deselect you can see we put that fender ridge in and if it's too much just like we've done in our other Photoshop tutorials is you can add a layer mask to that and then just painting in black to hide, you can come in and you can get rid of that if you went too far. So now you can see we have our little fender arch there. Um, let's bring the color back down on this and let's go into the wheel arch and see if we can do kind of the same thing. So we'll grab a harp pen tool we'll make a new layer make sure we're on that layer and then we're just gonna paint on the outside of this I'm sorry we're just gonna trace the outside of this We'll make that selection again. Um, another tip is you can hit H if you hit command H that will hide your selection and then command H will bring it back so what this will allow you to do is you can turn back on that base color turn it up all the way go back into your brush tool and now we can kind of start going around there and you can see we're bringing in that that wheel arch and over here it actually kind of flipped and it went to a lighter color so let's grab our eyedropper tool. Let's grab this color, go back to B, and we'll kind of put that color right in here. So you can see we went from the light to the dark. Just like the car had. So if you zoom out, you can see we were able to put that, that wheel arch in. Um, let's do one more thing on the back here. Let's go ahead and put this little um, the little body line in. So again, let's make a new layer. And we will grab our pen tool again. And just come right in here. and then make our selection click OK 
zoom out. We can bring our body color up if we want to see what we're doing. Again, Command H to hide it. And then we'll grab our brush tool. We'll hit D. And then we'll just go and kind of color that in. You want it darker. All good. All right. So let's make a layer or let's make a group for those. Rear body line. So let's put all those in a group. We'll call this rear fender. Um, trying to think of any other quick techniques. It's really a lot of the same thing. It's a lot of select, fill, shade, all of that stuff just kind of over and over and over again. Um, we can do that same thing on this body line up here. So let's, or the fender, the fender arch body line. So again, let's grab our pen tool and we'll just come in here and we'll trace this circle. Try to get that as close to perfect as you can as you come down and around. So again, make that selection. Click OK. Uh, for this one, let's keep this on. And let's grab our brush tool. And I think we want to paint in black along this guy. And black over here and black down here and then X we want to paint in white up here so now that we kind of know what we're doing let's go bring up this opacity let's hit command H to hide it and we'll just kind of blend these two together All right, so we're coming together. So I think that's where we're gonna stop for now and today and forever with this. But like I said, I had just gotten a few questions on how I could do this on my own, um, how you would do this in Photoshop. So essentially, again, I'm not a professional artist. This is how I would go about tackling it really you got to just break it down to highlights and shadows if you keep it simple with kind of those those three tones you know you have your neutral color you have a darker color and you have a lighter color for the shadow and the highlights and you kind of just break the card down and then break it down even further into like individual pieces and individual um, parts of the car and just take your time and look at really what is a what is a shadow what is a highlight and how how do those work together and you use those few techniques uh, with tracing out with the pen tool and either filling it with a solid color or coming back if there's a, a gradient just painting that in with a brush really lightly and then just remember everything builds on each other from layers and you can put layer masks on anything so if you go too far 
or you make a mistake, just go ahead and throw a layer mask on that and then you can paint it out. So hopefully you like this quick video. Hopefully it helps you. Hopefully you learn something from it. If, if not actually drawing your own car, this same technique works for in photography of accentuating shadows and highlights and things like that. So you could kind of use that same technique for that. Um, so again, if you have any co questions or comments, leave them in the, in the comment section below. Um, I love reading and hearing from you guys. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave them down below as well. So until next time, take care.